Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're doing a head-to-head -head shave off between two heavyweight contenders. Stay tuned because I'm That's right, I am Dave Shaves, and today we are doing a head-to-head -head shave off between two heavyweight contenders. And those contenders are my 1964 Gillette Slim Adjustable that I've had for almost a couple of years at this point, and my more recently purchased 1960 Gillette Fat Boy. We are going to compare these two razors to see if there is any difference between the shave of the Slim and the shave of the Fat Boy. We're going to do it using the same blade, my Voskod. I'm going to do one side, switch to the other razor, then do the other side. And then we're going to be using the same soap, Parasso Green, lathered up with the same shave brush, Perfecto Badger Hair. And we're going to be finishing up with Duke Cannon, Ice Cold Post Shave Balm, and splashing on some Parasso Green after that. So that's what we are doing today, and we are going to finally see I apologize the water running in the back. They just got out of the shower and it's still draining, so bear with me. But we are going to see if I do prefer one razor over the other. I'm not sure. They are very, very close. And I love them both dearly. I've only shaved with this one once, but I fell in love with it right off the bat, just as I did with this one the first time I used it. First time I used the Gillette Slim, I fell in love with that one right off the bat too. So they're both in the same shape. You can see not, there's not really one that's grungier than the other. So they're both in great shape, both equal. The only difference is one is a fat boy, so slightly different shape, and one is a slim. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put them both on the same setting. Setting three, and setting three. And we're going to compare them and we're going to see if there is a difference and if I prefer one over the other. I have no idea. I have no hypothesis. I can tell you that my Slim has been my go-to daily driver. Um, as long as I'm not doing a video or anything, most of the time, this is the razor I go to. But this one is going to be coming in with a close second. I I don't know. I really don't know what to feel. And they're two heavyweight contenders. They are two of the most popular Gillette razors out there. And it really should be interesting. Um, what I'm hoping to do next time is get my hands on a Black Beauty adjustable and compare the three of them uh, at some point. But right now, we're just going to go ahead and compare these two since I don't have a Black Beauty. And we're going to go from there. So let's go ahead and... I did not soak this brush. So we're gonna need to get that soaking. I can't believe I did that. So we're gonna have to, you're gonna have to watch my mug just talk for a little while because that was not, that was not smart. Should have done it before I got in the shower. It's a very David move. But luckily my brushes don't tend to take super long to soak, so. Let's go ahead and just let that warm up a little bit. It is warming. Go ahead and let that soak. While that is soaking, we're going to go ahead and put some Parasso. I love that smell. I love it. Mm. It's going to put a nice little dollop right there in the bottom. Probably more than I need. I say that every time and it usually is, but that's okay. And we're gonna put the top back on here. I need to clean out the top. It's getting all crusty from the shave cream. That, I'm sorry, that's not, really not getting on there nicely. 
If I'm not careful, you're gonna end up seeing it break like the like the uh, palm olive did. Yeah, that is not. I don't know. It's on there good enough. Good enough. All right. So while we're waiting for that to soak, let's go ahead and load up. The, I usually start with this side. I don't know. No, usually I think I start with this side. Either way, uh, we're gonna go ahead and load the Voskhod into my Slim first. Get that lined up nicely. And again, I do have that on setting three. Uh, this isn't a brand new blade. Uh, it is on its third shade, but usually third shades on a Voskhod still do really well for me. So I don't have any complaints there. So I'm not thinking that's going to be an issue. All right, so we do have that loaded. And whatever side I decide to start on, I will just... Yeah, usually I go this side. So I'll probably do the, the slim over here. I was going to do it the other way. But I'll do the slim over here and the... Fat boy over here. Just because I loaded up in a slim and I have my ways of shaving, so. No harm, no foul. And then we'll just switch it off. And then when I go across grain, I'll probably start on this side so I don't have to switch the blade right away. So. That is what we're gonna do today. Yeah, this is already starting to, to soak well. So that's gonna it's going to be ready here in just a moment. What about you guys? Have you guys ever done this face off before? Have you ever used the Fat Boy versus the Slim? Do you do other? Have you ever done any other shave offs? Let me know. My shave offs typically do pretty well. I did a well, I did a shave off featuring budget shave products and that worked really well. Gave me a lot of views. So I'm thinking this will do the same. So, let's go ahead and Splash some water on my face just to keep me hydrated. Alright. Yep, we got enough. Definitely think we have enough moisture in this brush. So we're going to go ahead and start lathering up. Hope everybody's doing well today. Anybody have an exciting week going on? I got a busy week. I don't really want to say it's exciting, but I definitely have a busy week going on. For those that, for those of them watching for a while, you know I've been looking for a job recently, so I have a lot of interviews this week. Um, and. All that just leads to a lot of stress, and I've, I've been kind of stressed out, if I'm being honest with you, this week. It's been kind of a stressful week. Um, yesterday, I did a shave just for me. I didn't even post a picture on Instagram. I just did it just for me, because sometimes you just need a shave for yourself. And I don't always feel the need to do a video, so... But this is the second video so far this week. The previous one I did this week, the canola oil, seems to be doing pretty good. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. Um, I'm a fan of it uh, because it's actually got some funny parts to it. Um, I'm actually very proud of that video. So I think, I think it was a lot of fun. And I think this will be good too once I actually get to the shave, which we're going to go ahead and start lathering up right now. So we're just about there. Good lather. My face may actually be a little too wet. The lather itself is perfect, but my face is a little wet. That's all right. It's giving me a nice solid lather, so it's not like it's runny or anything. So that's fine. Okay. 
Got a nice lather built up on my face. Let's go ahead and take the slim and see what we got. Smoothness of it's going good. No issues there. It's doing exactly as I would expect for my slim. Okay. Quick half first pass done. Let's go ahead and rinse this off. Definitely had the same amount of growth. Already got some hair clogged in there a little bit. I think I took off a little bit of my goatee on the side here, more than I usually do, but that's okay. There was a kind of a chunk of hair. Nothing major, but a little bit of chunk of hair stuck in my, uh, in my slim. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the rest of the first pass does. And then we'll go ahead and compare. Okay. First pass done. It left about the same amount of growth. as if typical first pass would. So that's not really a surprise. What kind of did surprise me a little bit was the feeling. I felt like the, the fat boy was a little smoother on my skin. I, maybe it's the half, so I, was, I wasn't feeling like I had to push down as, as hard, um, which you're not supposed to push down anyway, but I think for me, the heft really does add a little something to it. So the fat boy, the way it just glided for me, felt like it glided slightly better over my skin. Um, that's not to say that the slim felt bad. It didn't by any stretch of the imagination. I, again, I still absolutely adore that razor. I'm just saying for the first pass right off the bat, the, the feeling, it just felt like a smoother process. So that's, that's something that was intriguing to me. Let's go ahead and load up for pass two. I love this lather, and this lather is absolutely perfect. I love Parasso Green. Absolutely love it. All right, let's go in for pass two. See what we got.
Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I'm just really trying to get a good feel for this, for this shape. This is a lot of fun for me. I'm really enjoying this this head-to-head -head face off. It's going really well. I can't I can't wait to see what the end results are. I really can't. Yeah, again, it just it doesn't feel as smooth. It almost feels like the th it almost feels like this razor is slightly more aggressive. I have it on the same setting, same number three setting. It just feels like it's a it's a bit more aggressive. I mean, it's the shave is about the same, but it's not quite. It's just not as smooth. It's the best way that I can explain it. Is it's just not as smooth. Yeah, it's just not, the feeling of it is just not as smooth on it. I don't know that it's gonna leave any irritation. It's just the, the feeling of it just feels slightly more aggressive. That's not something that I was expecting. Again, don't get me wrong. It's nothing to do with the razor. I have no complaints. It's not a complaint. It's just an interesting observation. The fat boy just seems to feel a little bit smoother on my skin. Again, it's literally the exact same blade. It's the exact same setting. So number three comparatively feels less aggressive on my skin with a fat boy. But the shaves are almost completely identical. So I'm not feeling any difference in that I'm not feeling like one is taking off more hair than the other. It's just this razor feels slightly more aggressive and there's actually a little bit of irritation actually building up on setting three with a Voskhod. Hmm. Huh. Try it out yourself. Don't just take what I have to say. Let me know, have you tried this before? And if you have, Let me know, give me a bit of a debate. I mean, even you can see there's a little bit of a nick right there, which I'm not getting with the fat boy. Yep. It's the same. No matter what pass I do, whether it's a cross grain, against or with, takes off the same amount of hair, but the fat boy feels smoother.
Now I am starting to feel irritation on the bottom of the face as well. So it's not entirely different. Got my problem areas about the same. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this to get the, the last little bit off right there in the center. Yeah, it's, it's shave wise, it's about the same, but the feeling feels a bit smoother in the fat boy. And I, I don't know, I don't know what, could be the weight, could be the heft. I don't, I don't think I pushed down any harder with the slim, but maybe I did. Maybe a, a lighter razor kind of forces me to push down a little bit more without thinking about it. In which case, my personal preference would still end up being the fat boy because the fat boy doesn't make me do that. So, there you have it. So what I'm feeling is, in my opinion, the fat boy is a slightly smoother shave. And therefore, by a very slim margin, is my preference My fat boy, the fa therefore, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Therefore, the fat boy is my preference by a very slim margin over the slim. Over the slim. So I think I, that, that's it. I mean, that's what it boils down to. Um, again, it's an extremely slim margin. They are both fantastic shaves. And as always, I recommend picking up both. Pick up the slim. Do not let you... Whatever you do, don't let this discourage you from getting a slim. Slim adjustable I had for over a year. I loved it. I still love it. I absolutely adore it. And I will still reach for my slim. It just has some competition with the bat boy. But there you have it. There you have it indeed. This video has gone on longer than expected, but there was some burning with the ice cold Duke Cannon as I figured there would be. Um, but same amount of burning on both sides, maybe slightly more. No, I can't even say that. I think it's just feeling that way because of my preference, but no, I'd have to say I would have to say in feeling with burning, it's, it's the same. It's just a preference. There's just something about the way the fat boy felt when it was gliding over my skin that made it feel a little, slow, a little uh, smoother. That's all it was. Other than that, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching this video and you have not yet, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit me up on Patreon if you feel like supporting me. Any contributions I get will go towards this channel but don't feel obligated to do so. Even you guys just watching makes me uh, feel happy also and 
adds to everything. So viewers are just what keeps this channel going. But if you feel the need at some point, I'd appreciate any support on Patreon. But again, don't feel obligated. If you like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button. Give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and keep shaving. I will see you on the next video.